All right, so I'm loading Photoshop. <clears throat> this is for the Photoshop certification prep. And we're going through Brain Buffet. And this is going to be like a uh, cliff note version of all of the videos that uh, Brain Buffet has. So this is uh, project one. And we are going to be talking about setting up some initial preferences, um, changing some things to make them a little bit uh, more user friendly, and so on. So uh, go ahead and open up Photoshop. You don't have to open a new file or anything. So what you do need to do is you need to get into your uh, preferences. And I'm on a PC. So for me, I'll go to edit and then all the way down to preferences. If you're on a Mac, you're going to uh, click on the little uh, Apple, Apple icon. Okay, so under preferences, we'll go to general. And then in here on the left side, we have all of these different tabs uh, that have options that we can change. Um, if you're in Photoshop and, and things aren't working the way you want them to, uh, things are moved around, we can, you can always reset any of the preferences back to the default. Um, and so, you know, you can reset all, all of these through, through here. Uh, so, you know, a lot of these things you do want to just leave as is. Uh, unless you really have an, uh, a need to change any of those options under general. If you go to interface, we have the appearance. So you can change the look and, and feel of uh, the, the background color. So, you know, we can have it be really dark or really light or anywhere in between. Just it's kind of your preference. Uh, the default color for me works great. So I'm just going to leave that. Um, if you wanted to change how it presents, so for myself, um, I changed the UI scaling and to 200% and the UI font size to large. And that way, when I'm presenting to the class, you know, these, these uh, images, these the fonts and all of the pop-ups are going to be a little larger, uh, so it'll be easier to see for my students. Uh, but this is actually going to be something that's on the on the test where the UI language, UI scaling, UI font size, uh, you can find these under preferences. So a good thing to remember. Under workspace, this is how things open up. We don't need to change anything under there. Tools, if you want to change how the tools react, you can do that. Um, let's see here. File handling. This is an important one. So for file handling, you know, this is, uh, the, the one thing that you might want to think about is over here where it says automatically save and recovery, uh, save recovery information. Every, the default is 10 minutes. And when you're designing, if you mess something up or the computer crashes and it's in between that 10 minutes, you're going to lose 10 minutes of design time. So, you know, it's no harm, no foul just to change that down to five minutes. So then at least you're, if you, if, and when the uh, program does crash that you're only losing five minutes. Under export, we've got uh, PNG. That's the default. I really like the PNG option because it gives us the op, uh, option for transparency. And so this is just when you go to the uh, file export, quick export, PNG is going to be the default. Of course, we can change that at any time. But, um, you know, if you always save to JPEG or GIF, then maybe you want to change those. But I like the PNG option. Um, and then down here under quick export metadata, if you want to have people get your information, say you're putting stuff online and people are really curious about where you are, who you are, 
uh, you can include the copyright information so they can see what uh, see that you have done that so uh, under performance the default is the used graphics processor is checked on and depending on your computer and what device you're using and how uh, large it is uh, i have run into issues uh, with the student computers kind of freezing and then uh, crashing or not being able to uh, preview like taking a long time to preview um, an action that you do so turning the graphics processor off makes this a little more seamless like uh, there, there's less issues so I, I just get into the habit of turning that off. Uh, let's see here. If we go down to units and rulers, we can make sure that we're setting our rulers to whatever your default uh, design is for us. We do a lot of print work, so we, I like to have it set to inches and then the type I don't like to have it in pixels or millimeters, so type will set the points. Um, and then I just left all of the column size and resolution all the same because print resolution 70 or 300 is fine, and then screen resolution 72 is fine for me. Uh, and I think that is everything else we have we can you know you can go and set the guides that if you want to set up guidelines or or artboard colors or anything like that you can you can change the color in here just to kind of customize it uh, if you so wish and then we'll just leave everything else the same we'll hit okay so what you will have to do to activate those changes is shut down uh the program and then reopen it and then uh and then those changes become active and that is it for this video. So this is step one. And we'll go ahead and stop here.